Banda Singh Bahadur, born Lakman Dev, the 27th of October 1670 to the 9th of June 1716, Delhi, was a Sikh military commander who established a Sikh state with capital at Logar, Haryana. At age 15, he left home to become an ascetic and was given the name Madho Das. He established a monastery at Nanded, on the bank of the river Godavari, where in September 1708 he was visited by, and became a disciple of, Guru Gobind Singh, who gave him the new name of Banda Singh Bahadur after initiating him into the Khalsa. Armed with the blessing and authority of Guru Gobind Singh, he came to Khanda in Sonipat and assembled a fighting force and led the struggle against the Mughal Empire. Guru Gobind Singh also appointed five Sikhs Baj Singh, Bainad Singh, Ram Singh, Daya Singh, Kahan Singh to assist him. His first major action was the sacking of the Mughal provincial capital, Samana, in November 1709. After establishing his authority in Punjab, Banda Singh Bahadur abolished the Zamindari system, and granted property rights to the tillers of the land. He was captured by the Mughals and tortured to death in 1715-1716. Early life Banda Singh was born at Rajori now in Jammu and Kashmir. According to Hakim Reza Wal I Lakman Das Urf Banda Sahib, his father Ram Dev was a farmer belonging to the Sodhi sub-caste of the Khatris. Early conquests After a meeting with Guru Gobind Singh on 3 September 1708, he became a Sikh. The Guru Gobind ordered him to go to Khanda and fight the Mughals with the help of the Sikh army in Battle of Sonipat. In 1709 he defeated Mughals in the Battle of Samana and captured the Mughal city of Samana, killing about 10,000 Mohammedans, Samana minted coins. With this treasury the Sikhs became financially stable. The Sikhs soon took over Mustafabad and Sadora near Jagadri. The Sikhs then captured the Cis Sutlej areas of Punjab, including Malerkotla and Nahan. On 12 May 1710, in the Battle of Chapur Chiri, the Sikhs killed Wazir Khan, the governor of Sirhind, and Dewan Sukhanand, who were responsible for the martyrdom of the two youngest sons of Guru Gobind Singh. Two days later, the Sikhs captured Sirhind. Banda Singh was now in control of territory from the Sutlej to the Yamuna and ordered that ownership of the land be given to the farmers, to let them live in dignity and self respect. Sikh Raj Banda Singh Bahadur developed the village of Mukhlisgah, and made it his capital. He then renamed it to Logar Fortress of Steel, where he issued his own mint. The coin described Logar, "...struck in the city of peace, illustrating the beauty of civic life, and the ornament of the blessed throne." He briefly established a state in Punjab for half a year. Banda Singh sent Sikhs to the Uttar Pradesh and Sikhs took over Saharanpur, Jalalabad, Muzaffarnagar and other nearby areas, bringing relief to the repressed population. In the regions of Jalandhar and Amritsar, the Sikhs started fighting for the rights of the people. Banda Singh Bahadur captured Ran after defeating Mughals in the Battle of Ran 1710. Sikhs used their newly established power to remove corrupt officials and replace them with honest ones. Revolutionary Banda Singh Bahadur is known to have halted the Zamindari system in the time he was active and gave the farmers proprietorship of their own land. It seems that all classes of government officers were addicted to extortion and corruption and the whole system of regulatory and order was subverted. Local tradition recalls that the people from the neighborhood of Sadora came to Banda Singh complaining of the iniquities practices by their landlords. Banda Singh ordered Baj Singh to open fire on them. The people were astonished at the strange reply to their representation, and asked him what he meant. He told them that they deserved no better treatment when being thousands in number they still allowed themselves to be cowed down by a handful of zamindars. He defeated the Sayyids and Sheikhs in the Battle of Sadora. <laughs> Persecution from the Mughals 
The rule of the Sikhs over the entire Punjab east of Lahore obstructed the communication between Delhi and Lahore, the capital of Punjab, and this worried Mughal Emperor Bahadur Shah he gave up his plan to subdue rebels in Rajasthan and marched towards Punjab. The entire imperial force was organized to defeat and kill Banda Singh Bahadur. All the generals were directed to join the emperor's army. To ensure that there were no Sikh agents in the army camps, an order was issued on 29 August 1710 to all Hindus to shave off their beards. Banda Singh was in Uttar Pradesh when the Mughal army under the orders of Munam Khan marched to Sirhind and before the return of Banda Singh, they had already taken Sirhind and the areas around it. The Sikhs therefore moved to Logar for their final battle. The Sikhs defeated the army but reinforcements were called and they laid siege on the fort with 60,000 troops. Gulab Singh dressed himself in the garments of Banda Singh and seated himself in his place. Banda Singh left the fort at night and went to a secret place in the hills and Chamba forests. The failure of the army to kill or catch Banda Singh shocked Emperor Bahadur Shah, and on 10 December 1710, he ordered that wherever a Sikh was found, he should be murdered. The emperor became mentally disturbed and died on 18 February 1712. Banda Singh Bahadur wrote hukumnamas to the Sikhs to reorganize and join him at once. In 1712, the Sikhs gathered near Kiratpur Sahib and defeated Raja Ajmer Chand, who was responsible for organizing all the hill rajas against Guru Gobind Singh and instigating battles with him. After Bim Chand's dead, the other hill rajas accepted their subordinate status and paid revenues to Banda Singh. While Bahadur Shah's four sons were killing themselves for the throne of the Mughal emperor, Banda Singh Bahadur recaptured Sadora and Logar. Farak Sayar, the next Mughal emperor, appointed Abdus Samad Khan as the governor of Lahore and Zakaria Khan, Abdus Samad Khan's son, the Fawadar of Jammu. In 1713, the Sikhs left Logar and Sadora and went to the remote hills of Jammu and where they built Dara Baba Banda Singh. During this time, Sikhs were being persecuted, especially by Mughals in the Gurdaspur region. Banda Singh came out and captured Kalanur and Batala which rebuked Farak Sayar to issue Mughal and Hindu officials and chiefs to proceed with their troops to Lahore to reinforce his army. <laughs> Siege in Gurdas Nangal In March 1715, the army under the rule of Abdus Samad Khan, the Mughal king of Delhi, drove Banda Bahadur and the Sikh forces into the village of Gurdas Nangal, Gurdaspur, Punjab and laid siege to the village. The Sikhs defended the small fort for eight months under conditions of great hardship, but on 7 December 1715 the Mughals broke into the starving garrison and captured Banda Singh and his companions. Execution Banda Singh Bahadur was put into an iron cage and the remaining Sikhs were chained. The Sikhs were brought to Delhi in a procession with the 780 Sikh prisoners, 2,000 Sikh heads hung on spears, and 700 cartloads of heads of slaughtered Sikhs used to terrorize the population. They were put in the Delhi fort and pressured to give up their faith and become Muslims, the prisoners remained unmoved. On their firm refusal these non-converters were ordered to be executed. Every day a few were brought out of the fort and murdered in public. This continued for approximately seven days. After three months of confinement, on 9 June 1716, Banda Singh's eyes were gouged out, his limbs were severed, his skin removed, and then he was killed. <laughs> <laughs> Battles fought by Banda Singh Battle of Sonipat Battle of Samana Battle of Chapur Chiri Battle of Sadora Battle of Logar Battle of Jammu Battle of Ran 1710 Battle of Jalalabad 1710 Battle of Gurdas Nangal or Siege of Gurdaspur Battle of Sirhind Topic Baba Banda Singh Bahadur War Memorial A war memorial was built where Battle of Chapur Chiri was fought, to glorify heroic Sikh soldiers. The 328 feet tall Fateh Burj was dedicated to Banda Singh Bahadur who led the army and defeated the Mughal force. The Fateh Burj is taller than Qutab Minar and is an octagonal structure. There is a dome at the top of tower with khanda made of stainless steel.
Topic See also Shuran Kor Pabla Nanua Bairagi Hari Singh Nalwa Sawan Mal Ratan Singh Bangu Bai Mani Singh Baba Darbara Singh Baba Bainad Singh Baj Singh